Welcome back to the Yarn Addicts YouTube channel. I am Rhonda. I am Allison. And uh, today is Mohair Madness. <laughs> Now we're going to take a look at a couple of shawl options holding mohair and I think we pretty much have fingering weight yarn or even mohair all on its own. So Rhonda, you are modeling right now. I am modeling the, the color, color palette scarf. Yes. All mohair. All mohair. All the time. All the time. You could do it all day. Yeah. So <laughs> what is super fun about this project is that it calls for five skeins of the Ito Sensei. And the beautiful part is, is that you can do two colors, three colors, or even five colors. They could be all, you know, a couple repeats, or you could have all different colors. So the sample we put together has five different colors. And what makes it even better is that these solid sections here, the instructions will have you cast on, and it says, knit each row, there might be a detail edge, but you knit to the end of the ball, and then you switch colors. Yep. It's wonderfully stripe. simple. And then you get to the stripe section where you knit two rows of each color. I like this one. It is very It's not too pretty. heavy. Very lightweight. I'm all about knitting a worsted weight shawl. I'm all about wearing a lace weight shawl. <laughs> it's just, so, it's yeah. a little lighter over a sweater, especially. Right. But this is gorgeous. You can, you can be super creative and do a beautiful kind of neutral palette with a pop. Mm -hmm. You can do fluorescence, you can do you can just traditional do. neutral with like uh, all neutral. Go or you can go white, gradient. bright all the way. Whatever bright you feel like doing. Way. Love it. All right. Another one we have. Now this is another shawl favorite of the store. Rhonda, would you hold this up for me? Yeah. This is the Lilac Wish Shawl. It is one of our favorites because it can be done in either lace weight or fingering weight. This sample was actually knit by, let's see, by the lovely Remy, who mm -hmm. is Rhonda's daughter. Mm -hmm. She did a beautiful job. She paired Oink Pigments Coven Yarn, which is a silk linen blend with a skein of mohair. And as you can see, this is a little more, it's somewhat matchy matchy, but it's complimentary in terms of the uh, relation to the coven. So she did a beautiful job. We actually have a uh, little cheat sheets to help you add some beautiful beading to this. And she did a lovely Pico Edge bind off mm -hmm. with the beads. So this is a go-to whether you're using fingering weight or even a lace weight. Absolutely, we the have original pattern was written in lace. Yeah, and we have some great lace weight options as well. We're just showcasing the one that we do have made up in the mohair. And that is just a wonderful, fun knit. Absolutely. I think we have 10 different versions of Lilac Wish here in the store. Absolutely. So if you're looking for your first lace shawl, you don't have to beat it. This is absolutely where we direct you when you come in. It starts off with eight simple stockinette sections and it goes into the lace. Right. So it gives you like a little warm up. So gorgeous. Yes. What other we combinations have a lot of combinations we we've got. So we could go a little more purple. What color is mm, this? That one? one's real pretty. This is Mercy Bouquet <laughs> with a nice pale lilac. I love the name Oink Paz for the yarn. Oh yes, our feature colorway, by the way, Big Eggplant Energy, mm -hmm. and Damson is the name of this color. Perfect. Then, let's see, we got into the neutrals. Oh. Well, let's do the blue first. So here we have two skeins. One is the variegated and one is a solid. So they are <laughs> Pigs, Doom, and Tacos. Appropriate for this year, I think. Do you think that's like another thing we don't know what that really means? <laughs> Could be. Oh. <laughs> and then teal appeal. I think that just is cute. But they're both beautiful colors, and you could easily pair it with this beautiful, uh, let's see here, Glacial Lake from Marinated, or even the Lang Lace in this turquoise. Absolutely, go either way. And then if you want to go a little, look, less yeah. turquoise look. If you want to go a little ne neutral, this is the Smoky Pearl, and we paired it with Ito Sensei in silver. Uh, and Ito, Ito uh, Sensei comes in about a dozen grades. Yes. So different undertones for them. They're, it's really incredible. That center silk strand on their mohair is often a different yeah, color. I so. believe this is the one. So yeah. this is called Top Light Gray. And what's beautiful about it is the gray is kind of a, the gray mohair part rather, is sort of a beautiful medium gray. But the strand of silk is a very light in color. 
and then contrastly they have a top dark gray so it's the same color mohair but the strand is practically black yeah they've done an exceptional job yeah yeah all right and then we gorgeous. have gorgeous gorgeous after mm -hmm. lilac wish we have the shanna jean shawl oh remy so also knit them. she did our remy yeah. loves her her mohair and her lace not sure she loves it <laughs> maybe not but <laughs> It was a beautiful was a, job that she did. I think this was a trade. Yeah. <laughs> she did a great job though. So this uh, has not sections. Sure she'll ever knit anything with a ball ball again. Probably. Yeah. yeah. So this has sections of fingering weight yarn and then the mohair is on its own. So uh and as Rhonda mentioned, there is a ton of baubles in it. Yeah. So it gives it nice little texture to the fingering weight. And this is uh the designer is actually from Knitted Wit. Is it Oh yeah. So Laura, uh, or she's she's or close friends with her. Close friends yeah. with her, but you know, she released it for her with the fairy floss uh, mohair here. That she, yeah. So this is our variegated mohair, and we have a bunch of colors in that. And then we paired it with uh, marinated in a uh, greeny blue. I believe it was Jordan Pond. Correct. Yes. So you know, you can play with that. That we have a couple of different options you can play with. Absolutely. But a great way to pair it. And we know there are plenty of other shawls out there. We just wanted something a little. Uh, vibrant with the variegated mohair and you know what come to think of it this shawl could be made with uh lauren from color wheel her new slub and mohair absolutely you can take the slub put it into the bauble section don't have to do the baubles that's true and then you're alternating the two yarns rather than holding them together like they suggested for uh, a sweater combination so uh you, know, you could replace that slub into any fingering weight pattern um, what I love about it is that you do use the two colors and you use the mohair separately and mm -hmm. knitted wits colors across all of her yarns are really vibrant and intense. So this really highlights uh, what type of dyer she is. I think this is a truly complementary pattern for her yarn. Absolutely. Right? It is well designed for her yarn. Wonderful. Well, right. thank you, Allison. Those are our three shawl samples that we have here that use uh, mohair. And uh, we'll be right back in our last segment. We'll have uh, a couple hats to show you. All right. So last but not least, hats. Hats. Quick project. No reason you can't add mohair to almost any pattern. Any pattern. Right? As long as you have gauge, you'll know your hat fits. And it'll be super lofty. It's mm -hmm. going to be definitely special and warm. We didn't really speak about how mohair, it, it, it's goat fiber, it's warm. Yeah. So... Why not use it and make a super warm hat? First up, <laughs> fingering weight option. This is sparkling cider, and I shall show you. Yeah, I'll hold the cup. I'm gonna hold the hat. I'll hold the hat. You actually have a hat stand to your left yeah. if you want to grab it. There we go. There. Ooh, prepared. Super cute. So sparkling uh, cider has a pretty kind of undulating little wave pattern that goes through it, and uh, it's highlighted by little uh, seed beads, six uh, six slash O that we have here in the store. And this is kind of like a burgundy color, and a really uh, pretty crown to it. And I think I said in a previous video, mm -hmm. the best way I judge a hat is by how well the hat designer paid attention to the crown shaping, because that's the trickiest part of the pattern. It's easy yeah. enough to design. A lace pattern into a certain number of stitches for right. the body but to make that work into the crown shaping shows the talents of the design so sparkling cider super fun project definitely a lovely luxury knit mm -hmm. for a holiday gift we've pulled three different combinations uh, the base yarn uh, that we used for uh, sparkling cider is from Anzula luxury fibers these are our California girls love them mm -hmm. and this is their squishy base which is a merino cashmere nylon also known as an mcm and you can pair that with our uh, of course ito sensei one of our favorite mohairs here so this is madame so squishy madame with sensei ng one of the best selling colors with mm -hmm. sensei by far and uh, i think we have more coming in this week we can't seem to keep it in stock Next up would be Squishy in Coco. And then we have a new color from Edo that just came in. This is Gold Oak. So again, Allison paired it with a color that has a little bit more intensity than the Coco to kind of bring out the undertones in the yarn. And hopefully you can see that on camera. If not, you have to stop by the store to see that pair in person. It's beautiful. And then of course, the combination that we need our sample out of, Vixen 
and this is Damson, I believe. Mm -hmm. So Edo Sensei Damson. And we have tons of uh, seed beads here in stock for you, so it won't be a problem matching a seed bead uh, for that hat. Yeah. So definitely check out Sparkling Cider. Next up is a pretty infamous hat, right, Kobuk? Yeah. And this is Caitlin Hunter. Let's see, pretty picture. And this has lots of texture going on. Yeah. Twisted stitches for the ribbing, a seed stitch kind of insert, and then it goes into this kind of wandering bauble that goes into the crown shaping as well, where the bauble stop, the crown continues. We've topped it with this absolutely spectacular pom-pom. This is Kobuk and we have a couple DK weight options for you. We use Tosh DK uh, in Scout for that hat. And we've picked Copper Pink this time to show you with Ito Sensei Cherry Blossom. And I think this one's Scout and Cherry yeah. Blossom. Well, we, we brightened it up a little bit. So that's a combination that will give you a, a color in between the two colors. Absolutely. So the strand of this mohair matches yes. the Tosh color spot on. So then you're going to get this over color loft to it. That's really going to be beautiful. This is mm. stunning. Uh, this is uh, Tosh DK Spink, uh, I'm sorry, Pink Mist Smoke Tree <laughs> and Rocinante. Rocinante. Rocinante, again, language is not my forte, uh, but that's their impression, of course, mohair. So gorgeous, gorgeous color. And our last option that we pulled for you, and this is Matchy Matchy, Celadon mm -hmm. for Tosh DK, Celadon for Tosh and Thrushen. And what a beautiful Kobuk this combination would make. We have uh, lots of pom-poms as well for you to choose mm -hmm. from here in the store and online on our website. We just got a nice big shipment in, yep. in fact. All right. And one last more. up. This we did as a store knit along. About 30 people made this hat. We have a couple fun pictures on our Instagram feed of a whole gaggle of people wearing it together. It's really great. If you like twisted stitches, boy, this hat is for you. Mm -hmm. And um, goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. That's right, Pinion Pine. Thank you so much for <laughs> from Notorious SHE, I think. <laughs> yep. So she has a great, uh, great kind of handle. We featured this hat as well in our uh, a little hat segment. This is made in Tosh Vintage. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you share the colors you picked, Allison? So I picked, let's see, Joshua Tree, which is a great olive green, mm -hmm. and then another new Ido Sensei color, which is olive. Appropriate. Gorgeous color. Beautiful. And then I think this one, yep, it's Matchy Matchy Tosh. So Tosh Vintage and the impression in translation. It's a beautiful turquoise. Then this was a little fun. This is Matcha. So it's a light green with a gold speckle, and I paired it with Ido Sensei in Cabbage. So light green, just to really highlight the undertones. And lastly, a little matchy matchy, but different brand. Tosh Vintage in Moonstone plus Crocus in Ido Sensei. It's gorgeous. It's really hard to get a sophisticated lavender yeah. in a yarn, and Tosh delivers it with Moonstone. She it's, really it's absolutely does, yeah. beautiful. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Um, we've uh, really enjoyed this segment. It's uh, just uh, our passion right now is to kind of create and inspire you. Mm -hmm. uh, check us out on our social media sites as well. You can always, of course, email the store sales at theyarnaddict.com and Allison or I will be happy to answer your emails. Have a great, great day. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye. <laughs>